guys i desperately need to like get an actual tripod i used to have an actual tripod but then i broke it so now i literally have a stepping stool with a bunch of books stacked on top of it hello everybody welcome to another video or welcome back if you are not new here i don't know if any of that made sense but we're just gonna roll with it today we are doing what i want to read in july otherwise known as my july tbr aka to be read these are the books that i want to shoot to read for these are the books that i want to shoot to read no these are the books that I want to read this month, hopefully. I love doing TBR videos sometimes more than wrap-up videos because I'm so full of hope at the beginning of the month that I would read all of these books. And then at the end of the month, I'm just a little crushed by how little I did read. But again, numbers don't matter. It's just me personally. Okay, guys, really quick before we get into any of the reads that we are hopefully going to read in July, I wanted to say a huge thank you so much to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know what Atlas VPN is, I will be happy to tell you. Atlas VPN is a VPN that was developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019. Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everybody. Currently, it has more than 6 million users worldwide. With choosing Atlas VPN, you are getting the best VPN deal on the market. You can enjoy the most affordable online protection for just $1.39 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can enjoy blazing speed so you can get comfy, sit there and stream your favorite shows, or you can upgrade your gaming experience at lightning speed. Also, you can protect unlimited devices. Atlas VPN protects all of your devices with just one single subscription. One of the best parts is this is more than just a VPN. It blocks all the malicious links, ads, and trackers, and it notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. One of the best parts for me personally is, of course, when I'm buying way too many books than I need, as we all know, you get the best deals while shopping online. This is including online subscriptions like like Netflix and Spotify, airlines, hotels, and more. The best part is right now Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. What does this mean? It means that you can get a three year subscription, three year, for just $1.99 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. But guys, time is running out. So if you are interested in this, then go click the link in my description. I'm telling you guys, this is such a good deal. So with that being said, let's talk about what I want to read this month. This is my handy dandy TBR card. I get a lot of questions on where my TBR card is from. It's actually from Ikea. I got it a few years ago. I used to keep my art supplies and journaling stuff in here. And then I had seen a few books here and posts of like people putting their TBR in this cart to kind of separate it from their bookshelf. And I was like, that's a great idea. But I'm pretty sure you can literally get this from anywhere. Amazon, Walmart. I'm pretty sure everywhere has a cart like this. So now we can move on to all of the books that I have that I want to read this month. The very first book that I have that I'm going to be talking about is actually a book that has rolled over for, I think this may be the third month, but guys, I'm going to read it this month. I'm telling you that is Wait For It by Mariana Zapata. Now you guys may be like, okay, Destiny, if this is the third month that you're saying you're going to read this, why haven't you read it yet? And the answer is because it's just such a thick book and I always find myself like towards the end of the month reading my Mariana Zapata books when I should really put them towards the front because of how freaking thick thick they are like this book is so thick this is one of my more anticipated Mariana Zapata reads this and under lock like I really have been wanting to read these two I just haven't read it yet because it always is the end of the month and this is like a 700 page book and then also you have to be in the mood for a slow burn romance because all of Mariana Zapata's books are slow burns the next book that is another rollover to this month it may be the third maybe the fourth month I literally am not too sure but that is some kind of perfect by Kristen Becca Ritchie I know I know you guys are gonna be like why have you not read this book yet actually this may only be the second month that this is rolling over but anyway you guys may be like destiny you've been like talking about wanting to read this book and I do but the thing is is that I fully planned on annotating this book like highlighting tabbing everything because this is the epilogue novel for the addicted Callaway sister series which you guys know if you watch my videos that that is, those are some of my favorite books ever like they may be like my favorite things that I've ever read in my life so I really wanted to annotate the epilogue novel because I do want to go back and annotate and read all of the books over again especially like the first few addicted books you guys may be like okay so why didn't you read it what are you getting to well a few of you amazing lovely people sent me how Kristen Becca Ritchie announced their new cover for this book which you guys know that I recently bought the new Callaway covers because they updated those and it's so funny because when I bought the Callaway covers I was like I wonder when they're gonna do some kind of perfect and then they did so I ordered it off book depository because I think that it was coming out over in the UK before it was in the US so I ordered it from there and it should be here this month I'm going to read the new cover and fully annotate that because it wouldn't make sense for me to read this when I want to annotate it so that's why we are reading this this month but it won't be this one it'll be the new cover okay next as well super random 
Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. I think I did like low-key read this last year because it's literally just like 60 pages. This is basically a novella that ties together the Hopeless series with all your perfects and also completely unrelated but colleen hoover is also updating all of her covers like her publishing company is so this was the new cover for it also the point of retreat series i really wanted to buy that those covers are also getting revamped so i wanted to wait to buy those until you get the new covers as well as hopeless i think hopeless is also getting new covers which i will have to buy because i completely despise the old covers i have on my bookshelf with the people on them no ick ew i just got this because i have the finding cinderella novella that also goes in it so if you guys didn't know you would read it hopeless losing hope finding cinderella all your perfects and then you would read finding perfect and since i own literally every other book that that connects with i wanted to own the novella as well and i am going to try to commit to this i'm going to try to do it because we know that i loved this last month so i literally had to go out and buy the rest of the series hello that is the rest of the Akatar series. I only have three books here, but I also got the last book, but I also ordered that off Book Dispository because they don't have the paperback out yet in the US, but they have it out in the UK. I had seen some people on TikTok have the, it's basically orange, I think it's called, is it called a Court of Silver Flames? I think, a Court of Silver Flames. And it's orange, bright orange, and you know, these are all colorful and pretty. And I was like, okay, but why? I thought the paperback was out, but it's not. And all of you guys were like, order it off Book Dispository, or there's a different website for the UK, and I ordered it. I want to try to finish the rest of the series because I genuinely loved it so much, and I think I'm going to read this towards the beginning of the month since I have just read Akatar, and it's very fresh in my brain because I find it very hard to grasp onto fantasy, so I'm literally going to have to try to read these very fast. So basically, it's A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and ruin a court of frost and starlight and then a court of silver flames and these are so thick when i ever picked them up my mom was like jesus those books are thick and i'm like yeah pray for me i have so many super random books that i want to read this month like i'm going to show you guys the rest of the selection and you guys are gonna be like this is so random but next we have bound by honor this is a mafia romance by cora riley i've heard a bunch of good things about this series i just wanted to read it because one of you guys sent me this a few months back and i really wanted to get to it you know sometimes you just have to push yourself to get to those books that have been sitting there for a little bit and plus this intrigues me i used to read um mafia romances on wattpad and i'm not ashamed of it i'm sure we've all been there so i'm sure this will be better than a lot of those next i want to try to read the first two books in the briar u series this is like the spinoff to off campus so we have the chase and the risk these are probably lower on my tbr for what i'm going to get to but i would like to read them because i genuinely want to also a rant that i have about these books is that these books are the glossy like long books and I actually the deal which is the first book in the off-campus series I bought it from Barnes and Noble in store and that this is how that book looks this is the deal so this is the first book in the off-campus series and this is the risk it doesn't matter but see how they are both long and they're that glossy one so I got the deal from Barnes and Noble and then I was like okay I'm just going to order the rest of the books online and then I got the books and they are this way shorter and they are matte when i display them on my shelves because i basically wanted to display on one of my floating shelves the off campus and briar u series together the briar u series is gonna look good with the deal but the rest of them are gonna be mismatched which just kind of irks me a little bit but it's okay we are losing sunlight people we are losing sunlight next i want this is so ambitious so ambitious of me but next i want to read the rest of the dirty air series by lauren asher you guys know if you guys watched my mini or freak out tag if you did then you would know that i said lauren asher quickly became one of my new favorite authors this year i don't know why i just digest everything she writes so easily and i really like it really like the first book in the dirty air series and you queens you queens sent me the rest of these so i definitely have to read these this month and let you guys know what i think because so many of you guys when i posted these on my instagram story you guys were like you have to let me know what you think of this series so i'm gonna let you guys know don't worry i'm not going to let you down this is definitely higher up on my tbr i feel like i'm definitely going to read these books this month oh i mean a girl can hope really next i want to read as good as dead because i read good girl bad blood last month and i really really liked it i really enjoyed it which was surprising because i put that on my tbr for last month but didn't really think i was going to get to it and i was like i cannot wait to read the final one okay guys now we're getting into some beachy summer reads to save these for last because i feel like saving the best for last is always good because i'm actually going to florida in two weeks when i'm filming this video obviously i'm bringing plenty of books on vacation with me so these are the books that i plan on 
about bringing on vacation with me. First of all, we have the Paradise Trilogy, which of course I'm reading this because of Queen Sarah. You guys know I absolutely freaking love her. Okay, we're book besties, absolutely love her. And she read this in pretty sure last month and she had talked about these plenty of times before. And actually guys, I'm gonna be so honest with you. I don't really particularly enjoy El Elin Tildebrand's covers and they usually have people on them and stuff and so when I looked at the Paradise books I was like mm, I don't really love the covers and then I went to Barnes & Noble and they had this box set and the covers are like kind of cartoonified and they're this like matte oh my god they are to die for and I literally love the cover so much they're so vibrant they are so freaking summery i should be having some good um book content over on my bookstagram page if you guys are still somehow not following that what are you doing it is at what's desk reading of course you guys know go follow it if you are interested in that next we have float this is actually a book that i was about 30 to 40 percent through last month and then i put it down because the writing just was annoying the living crap out of me and the character in this book was so being so pick me like, all of the fanfic that we read on wattpad if you were in that same boat with me like it was that writing like to go back and read that is a major no for me which it's literally a wattpad published book like i wasn't expecting like top tier literature or anything don't come for me i watched Haley's wrap-up video for june and she had read this book and she talked about how the girl actually says, I think in the author's note, that she was 15 when she first wrote the beginning of this book. And then she stopped and then she went to college, graduated college, and finished the rest of this book. I am now going to be motivated to pick up the rest of the book because of that. Because hopefully it gets a lot better. This cover is so cute. You guys know I told you about that last month in my Summer Reads video. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch it. But... I absolutely love this cover so hopefully it's bringing all the good vibes for the beach vacay next we have rules of summer i literally cannot tell you where i think i might have saw like a book talk aesthetic on this book because i was looking up like summer reads that i wanted to read like different books i hadn't really seen a lot and i think i just automatically put this on my amazon wish list and one of you guys freaking sent me this queen lc thank you so much and she told me that she read this a few years back and that she really enjoyed it. So I am hoping that this is giving all of the beach vibes that I really want to get from this book. So rules of summer. Okay, we have the final two books right here. So they're both Mary Kay Andrews books, which the reason that I've been picking up, I feel like I've been picking up more just regular fiction books like maybe there's a mystery element to them but they're just kind of fiction because i read a lot of just plain old fiction last year in 2021 and i feel like this year i've just read a lot of romance and not really just fiction i feel like my reading was a lot more diverse last year than it is this year in the second half of 2022 i really want to pick up more just literature read some classics and stuff like that non-fiction i just really want to broaden my horizons that was a big goal for this year and i feel like i just stayed pretty safe in the romance genre and if i'm being completely honest they're all kind of starting to feel the same america andrews is just kind of like maybe there's some haunts of romance i really have no clue i've never read one of her books before but i know that Haley showed that she got the newcomer by her i'm not too sure if she's read it yet it says that this is a beach read it's kind of like this mystery element and it's in this beach town so i feel like that's going to be so fun to read on the beach i feel like sometimes reading romance is fun but sometimes just like being involved in a mystery that takes place in this beach town while you're on the beach is way better and then we also have hello summer i okay i'm gonna be honest like these covers look amazing so i picked them out and i read the synopsis and i thought they were good i'm pretty sure this one she's going to a small town in this like beach town and she's writing for this newspaper i literally don't know but these seem pretty promising with all that being said if you guys are interested in getting atlas vpn make sure to visit the link in my descriptions at the very top of my description or the pinned comment that i have and guys please do not forget that atlas vpn is running a huge discount which again means that you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee don't forget time is running out so you can get your deal by clicking the link in my description below guys do not forget go and get atlas vpn to get all of your streaming services needs I know that we are all struggling out here with Netflix taking off our favorite shows. With that being said, thank you so much to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Okay, guys, so those are all of the books that I want to try to read this month. I literally, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Roughly about 22. So, if you guys want to follow along with what I'm reading this month, I have so many cool video ideas planned for this month. Hopefully, I can execute all of them. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see the rest of the content I'm going to put out this month. Hopefully, to help me get through this very ambitious TBR. And, of course, before I can forget, thank you guys so much for 60,000. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys blow 
my freaking mind. My goal for 2022 was to hit 50,000 subscribers in total by December of, by the end of December of 2022. And I hit that in May. And so you guys literally are changing my life. You guys are so, so amazing. I have a giveaway planned. So stick around for that. Follow me over my Instagram at desk.sister to get more information on that. Subscribe to this channel to hear about that. I'm planning something. So guys, stay tuned. And thank you guys so much again. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys know how much you mean to me. All of the cute edits and everything that you guys tagged me. And literally, it's just, I don't, I can't even talk about it that during it. Okay, I will see you guys. I see you. Peace.